Hey everybody, it's Shantavia, and I just had a thought about some of my previous videos with respect to my advice to people to find a lawyer, especially finding a good, culturally competent lawyer, and it struck me that a lot of people don't know how to find a lawyer, and I actually have been in a couple of places recently, well, not so recent because of COVID, but in the past, like, probably 10 to 12 months or so, where that question has come up, like, how do I find a good lawyer? And I felt like the lawyers who were asked that question actually didn't even have great answers. So I wanted to hop on and give you three suggestions about where to find a lawyer if you don't know where to get started or how to find one. So obviously, word of mouth is always great. Like, if you know someone who's worked with a lawyer who you really like, but frankly, especially like people of color, black and brown folks. A lot of us don't know any lawyers or if we do, we know maybe like a divorce lawyer or a family lawyer or something like that. And so when you're looking for a lawyer for your business, then that's a pretty nuanced search. And a lot of times, you know, I'm a little hesitant when I see people who say, oh, I can do everything or I do criminal law, business law, litigation, transactional, I do everything, that person, I, I wonder if they really have the depth of knowledge to do like sophisticated business work, intellectual property work, and that kind of thing. Not saying it doesn't happen, but I want to give you some tips and suggestions for how you can go about finding a lawyer. So the first thing, obviously many people get on Google and that's fine, but one place you can look that many people don't know about is your local bar association. So if you live in the state of Georgia, there's a Georgia Bar Association. In Georgia in particular, there's also GABWA, the Georgia Association of Black Women Attorneys. If you're in North Carolina, there's the North Carolina Bar Association, association Florida, Florida Bar Association. So look for your local bar association. It might be a state or it might be like a city particularly if you're in a larger state there might be like a Miami bar or an Atlanta bar or a Charleston bar if you're in Charleston and so if you go to their website sometimes they'll have a directory where you can just search so like in the state that I live in South Carolina there's a directory of lawyers who will give free initial consultations and so for some people who really want to just have a, a brief conversation with the person that can be really helpful I'm not saying everybody does free consultations or every bar has a directory with free consultations but that's one place where you can look the second thing you can do particularly if you don't have a lot of money is look at your law schools legal clinics so wherever you live there's probably a law school in your state I think there's only one state in America that doesn't have a law school uh, but if there's a law school in your state look for their legal clinics and a lot of legal clinics have something called transactions legal clinics and within the transactional legal clinic people might be willing to help you or have space to help you with your business transaction so when you see like a transactional lawyer that means they handle business related transactions in most instances also even more specifically uh, there are some clinics around the country that have been designated as United States Patent and Trademark Office clinics where uh, and I guess I should explain a legal clinic. A legal clinic is a place where senior law students work with lawyers, practicing lawyers, to represent clients. There might be a children's legal clinic for people who want to represent kids in family court. There might be a transactional clinic where people want to represent businesses in their different day-to-day -day business transactions. And what I'm talking about specifically with the United States Patent and Trademark Office is patent and trademark lawyers and law students or law students who want to practice in that area working together so if you work with a legal clinic they don't charge you in most cases other than whatever the application fee is and there's like an expedited review in many instances so that students get the opportunity to spend uh, their year or two years or however long they're in a legal clinic working fully on a matter. If you're working with a practicing lawyer, a lot of times it takes a while to work your way through the United States Patent and Trademark Office. So if you go through a legal clinic, you can do it quicker. You don't get charged. You're working with a student, but that student has guidance from a practicing lawyer. Now, just about every legal clinic has uh, financial guidelines. So if you're very wealthy, you probably can't use a legal clinic, but that's that's another place where you can look. So your local bar associations, 
uh, your law school legal clinics I mentioned word of mouth I mentioned Google those things are good places to find lawyers too and then finally the third place I'd suggest you look especially if you are a member of a specific affinity group so if you're a woman and you want a woman lawyer there are a number of different professional organizations of women lawyers if you are black and you would like to work with a black lawyer or somebody who you can feel like you can relate to there's the national bar association um, there's also a hispanic and latino bar association so with the bar associations you have them based on states and cities but then there are also these affinity bar associations or groups so if you feel like your issue is so nuanced and uh, personal to you that you want to work with someone who looks like you or you have some affinity to there are those local organizations and local ways or, or local organizations and then affinity groups that have a deep roster of lawyers you can reach out to them call them email them and they may be able to put you in touch with someone too so i have a blog post about this and i'll drop a link in the comments below if you're interested in learning a little bit more and seeing some more details about the things i mentioned i also provide a lot of links to different services if you're looking for those things so so take a look at the comments below if you're interested in that thank you for watching if you like this video make sure that you hit the like button you hit the subscribe button leave me a comment and let me know what else you want to hear about because I want this series to really be about you about the things that new entrepreneurs business owners working professionals thinking about starting a business want to know about and hear about so thanks for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow